Ashley Banfield of CNN had on Representative Dana Rohrabacher and Marsha Blackburn, both very conservative, hardline Republicans, and she's going to go ahead and jackknife powerbomb their asses. I hear you. We're 12 hours and 38 minutes on our countdown clock, which, by the way, is ticking away uh, right underneath um, Congressman Rohrabacher's tie. 12 minutes and 38 <laughs> minutes until a lot of people aren't going to get paid and a lot of things are going to shut down. And it could cost this country $2 billion in just muckety muckety logistics. Right. So I want to ask you, to you both, we did our you job both to stop are, that. just a moment, you are both paid $174,000 a year. That's your salary. Would you be prepared to add some kind of a rider or an amendment onto a continuing resolution that would take you out of the essential services category and stop payment on your paychecks in order to get a continuing resolution through? Would you we're both, be, yes or no? See, yes or no? Would you what both they, be prepared to, see what they offer. to stop back your paychecks? The, 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 we're waiting to see what they send back, and I hope that as you that were wasn't running the, question. the countdown clock, that you're running the debt clock. I've that got wasn't two the grandsons. Question. Their share of the national debt is now no, over no, no, $53,000 no. each. I'm sorry. I asked a really you know, specific question. I wanted a waiting. yes or no question. There are a lot of and government workers that are going to stop receiving their do. paychecks, and there are a lot of military service members should, who are serving look, overseas who might stop being paid, yeah, me, and there are veterans whose benefits would be affected. Would you let be let prepared you to specific. take a cut and lose your paycheck as well? Let me let me answer your question It's a yes or no question. Oh, man, that was awesome, man. Look, Ashley Banfield is a mixed bag. I remember after the, the Sandy Hook shooting uh, in Newtown, she asked a really stupid question about, where was God for all this? And I'm like, what the fuck? How can you let this idiot on TV, right? But every once in a while she does something like this, and you're like, all right, Ashley, you go get him. If every segment with politicians or the establishment or people in power with the reporter or the journalist was like this, the United States of America would be in a much better situation. Because look, people, people don't know the details and the minutia about what goes on in Washington and what goes on in the business community, and they rely on journalists and reporters and the mainstream media to kind of shape their views, if you will. So if you have somebody like Ashley Banfield on CNN in the middle of the day, grilling Republican politicians saying, okay, so you're uh, being obstinate and being unreasonable and the government's going to shut down as a result of it because you can't get what you want even though you lost the election. You lost the election, right? Well, okay, if you're fine with the government shutting down, will you add a rider to the bill that says, let's do a real government shutdown and not pay us, not pay ourselves. Hey, it's taxpayer money that funds us. That's the government funding us. If we could furlough uh, other government workers and if we could fire other government workers and cease hiring in uh, certain programs in the government, then why shouldn't we have our pay cut as well or uh, suspend our pay until the government gets back on track? Why are you not in favor of that? Aren't you being unreasonable by not being in favor of that? Why aren't you feeling the pain along with the average worker? Why can't you do that? Why aren't you doing that? It's a yes or no question. Why aren't you answering? That's how it's done, man.